The Shulchan Aruch and Siman Kaf discusses an interesting question that comes up often in our own lifetimes. The Shulchan Aruch says that Tfilot Shemoadot, right, the Tfilot that we say on Chagim, Sukkot and Shavuot in Pesach, Vishel Roshay Chodoshim, and the Tfilot that we say on Rosh Chodesh, Tzichlas Dir Tfilato Kodem Shiit Pale. You have to review the Nusach of the Tefillah before you actually die. Because after all, we don't say those Tefillot so often, and it's probable that, at least for most people, uh, the memory of the Nusach of the Tefillot is imperfect. That's what the Shulchan Aruch says. So the Shulchan Aruch is concerned that we daven the Nusach correctly, and if we don't have sidurim, if we can't look on and see the words, then we have to be careful to prepare ourselves for davening before we actually do it. There are more ads. There are those who explain this halacha, which is a Gemara in Rosh Hashanah. This halacha is about uh, people who daven um, with Baal uh, Peh. They daven by heart or by rote. He says, but if you daven from a sitter, then it is permitted to daven without preparing. The Harara Mashem is power, because after all, he sees what he is davening, and therefore we see this. I don't know what your particular status is regarding the question of knowing the tefillah perfectly by heart. But this problem can be solved every day, every day of the year, by making sure that you always daven with a sitter. Right? When you daven with a sitter, then you always know what it is that you have to that you have to say. To so this Mr. Brewer adds, right? He says he says we've seen cases where people said Birkas Kiddush Levona when they went to sanctify the new moon, which is certainly a tefillah that most people don't know Baal Peh, and they didn't prepare themselves in advance. But of course, if you daven, if you daven a sitter, then uh, you solve that problem. Now, today, I think everybody understands that even something as common as Birkat Hamazon, benching after davening, even something as, as obvious as saying Ashrei before Mincha or Ashrei in, in Shachrit, the tefillah that we say several times a day and which most people learn by heart. There's an advantage to saying the tefillah using a Sidur. Now, there was a time, I suppose, when getting a printed book was a major enterprise. Today, that's not the case. Everybody can have it or handy. You know, the Sidurim are printed in every size imaginable. So you could always have a sitter with you when you have to do Birkat Mazon, when you have to Daven Mincha, when you have to say Shemona Esrei in the afternoon or the evening, you have to say Kriyat Shema. It's better, obviously, to have the backup of a sitter with you at all times. So while it's true that the Shulchan Aruch makes a distinction between those tefillot which are those tefillot which are commonly said and well known to us, and, and uh, we probably know them well Baal Peh, those tefillot which are less common and less well known, I think for us uh, uh, the obvious thing to do is to use a sitter, to use a sitter, to use a bencher to give ourselves that backup so that if we are davening in a serious way, we wouldn't look tra lose track of where we happen to be.